Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding end slates to existing videos in YouTube. Now, before we get started, it's important to talk about what we're actually going to be talking about. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a way of adding end slate information to existing videos on YouTube. This is very different a process to adding end slate information to new videos on YouTube. You see, the problem is that YouTube won't allow you to add extra information to a video unless you go and republish it. Well, if you go and republish your video, you're going to lose all your statistics, all your viewer data, all your comments and everything. So if you want to add end slate information to your videos and not lose that data, you have to be a little bit more creative. So this is a solution I've come up with. This is an existing video here on YouTube. It was uploaded in June 2014 and I've just added end slate information to it. What I've done is at the end of my video, I have a little blurb that I say. I say, thank you for joining me for this video. I refer them to my website and a whole lot of other things. So there are like a few seconds of content which are just me talking saying thank you. And so that's the area of my video that I've added my end slate information to. But you know, if you've got any part of the screen that you can add data to, you can put your end slate information anywhere you like. The important thing is to keep viewers involved in your video and give them somewhere to go after they've finished watching this video. So this is what my end slate information looks like. And I'm just adding these using the annotation feature in YouTube. So let's go and see how we would do that. So I have a video here that is open inside the video manager in YouTube. So I'm going to go here to annotations. The video will start playing and I'll listen to the audio, but where I want to head to is the very end of this video. So I'm going to take this playhead with me and we're going to the very end of the video. And what I'll do at this stage is just play the video and stop it when I hear myself say that very last bit of information. So I'm going to do that now. So I've gone ahead and played the video and I've just noted the point at which I start with that end blurb, if you like, and it's at about 10.14. So now we're going to go ahead and add the annotations that will give us our end slate. So I'll click here on add annotation and I'm going to use a note. So I'll click on note and the first of my annotations is a click to subscribe link. So I set mine to 16 points and I like my subscribe link to be red. So I'm going to choose the red option and you can see it here. So I'm just going to drag it down into position over an area of the video that is not going to get in the way of people's viewing it. Now for me that's down the right hand side but for you it might be anywhere so just choose the best place for it. Just going to position it over here where it's easily seen and I'm going to just go and check the start time because at the moment it's saying 10.08.8 and it needs to be 10.14.0. And then I want it to run to the very end of the video. So I'm just stretching it here so it runs to the very end of the video. I'm going to click on link and I'm going to use a subscribe link. And here I just type in my channel name. And I want to open a link in a new window. So that's all for that one. So I'll just click save. Now I've got an old annotation here that I used to have on this video. I'm just going to remove that because I don't want that any longer. Now we'll go back and add another couple of annotations. So I'll click annotation, again note, and this one is what I call my next video. So I try and encourage people to go to the next video in my sort of series. So I'm going to type next video. And I like to use a double chevron. On the PC I can get that by holding down the Alt key and pressing 0187 on the keyboard and then let go. On the Mac, you can use Shift Option Backslash. That's Shift Option Backslash on the Mac, Alt 0187 on the PC. And so here is my next video. I'm going to make this, again, 16 points. It's up here. I want it to be black, so I'm going to just select Black Filled. I'm just going to size it and move it over here and just size it in so it's the same size as the Click to Subscribe 
button. Now you can't size them exactly because there's no sort of snap to grid effect here, but just go for as close as you can get. I'm going to click link, but I'm also going to need to change this timing here because it needs to be 10, 14, 0. And then I'll go to link and I'm going to add a link to a video. Now I've already gone ahead and just researched what I want to use here. So I'm just going to cut and paste the video link that I've ascertained from my videos is the one that I want to use. And again, I want it to be opened in a new window. Now let's go and add the third one. I use three annotations. You could use more or less as you need. And this one's going to be my playlist. So this one's going to be watch more Photoshop videos. And I'll use the chevron again. Here it is up here. I'm going to make sure that it matches the type size and the style. So I'm going to make this black as well. I'm going to place it in position to size it nicely. Now I have a number of playlists and I'm going to use a playlist for this one. So I'm going to click link. I'm going to select playlist here. I'm just going to bring in the playlist details of one of my playlists. I'm just going to paste it in here. I want it to open in a new window. And again, I want this to start at 10, 14, 0. And now if it hasn't saved already, I will just click save. And this is what I use for my end slate information. Now, if you're curious about playlist information, you can get it over here. I'm just going to open this in a new tab and let's have a look. These are my playlists. So if, for example, I want to use my Photoshop playlist, it's down at the bottom here. So I'll just click to open it. And this is the playlist detail. So you'll just grab that particular link and then just paste it in because that will get people to the playlist that you're pointing them to. The last thing I'm going to do once I've created these end slate links is to apply the changes and then go and test and see that they're actually working. So I'm going to click here on the video link and that will open up the video in a player window and I can just run through the video to see how everything looks. Well, I'm going to the very end here because I want to see what the end slate looks like and I know that it should be coming in at 10.14. Well, here it is at 10.14. I can click to subscribe and that will open in a new window. I can click next video and that will take me to what I've identified as being the next video in the series. And I can also click here to watch more Photoshop videos, which would take me to the list of videos in that particular playlist. So there's a handy way to sort of beat the problem of YouTube. That means that we can't add formal end slates to existing YouTube videos without losing all the important things that we want to keep, like comments and video statistics. We're just adding the information using annotations. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. I hope you've learned a little bit about YouTube in this tutorial. If you'd like to be alerted when new videos are released, please click the subscribe link. From time to time, I will release videos about YouTube and also about this little handy thing in the corner here, vidIQ, which is really handy in terms of monetizing and really boosting the performance of your YouTube channel.